Hi everybody and welcome to the vlog of week 10. Now, as you can notice, I am on time with the vlog for once. Uh, I am doing my best to keep everything up and it's going alright. I had a couple of setbacks this week, uh, but I managed to get some footage and as you can see, I will get it in a video. So, as usual, I made myself a little list again to talk about with you guys. Hopefully I won't take too long. I noticed I've been kind of rambling over the past few vlogs. But, as far as I know, you guys keep checking it out, so that's nice. Yes. So, what I wanted to talk about uh, last week. So, we're now in week 10 of my stay here. So, that's, that's a little bit of a milestone. So... I uh, didn't do too many special things though this week, but a very big plus side is last Monday we had the presentation for our Volcano project and it went great. I am super glad it went great because that project has given me so much stress and now it's finally out of my system, so I am very glad about that. You could even say that this week was pretty productive. Because uh, beside that project and essay that we had to write, I also finished up another essay for my vampire course. And I finished an essay yesterday uh, on EFL, so how to teach English to adolescents. So I've been finishing three essays in one week. And for next week I have another deadline standing. And in about like the over span of about three weeks I have a couple more essays. And it's a strange idea, because at the end of April, if not even like halfway April, I'm actually done. Like, I'm done with my classes. Which is weird, so it's actually not that odd that I am now like super busy uh, with all the essays and all the final projects. And it also makes me kind of anxious. Like, I really hope everything is going alright. The, the, the past essays I've actually passed, the first earlier ones I managed to get a pass and a grade for it but for the rest since I only handed in that last week I do not have any results from that yet so that's really just waiting and I don't know what to expect from that but beside all that I managed to be pretty productive and I am actually trying to get myself to learn myself a couple of good habits Especially here, I've noticed that I've turned a little bit lazy, not when it comes to school, but more of watching my health. Uh, even now, my voice is actually kind of raspy, and noticing I'm going to catch a cold again. I really hope it's not getting too bad like last time. But I've noticed also that like my eating habits have taken a turn to the worst, and I'm trying to keep that up. Uh, I'm going to try to make a positive change in that. So I'm going to make myself dinner every day, even if we don't always eat together. At least I'm going to make myself a proper dinner, so no cup of noodles or just a pack of cookies or something. Because I have noticed that it is affecting my health and my weight and just my overall mood if I don't really eat healthy. So I'm going to do my best on keeping that as a good habit. For there are a couple more, I can't just mention them from the top of my head, they'll probably come to me halfway this video. So, yes, I'm trying to get myself uh, to be more healthy. Um, I'm not that much of a person of physical exercising, because I'm just super lazy. <laughs> but I am going outside, I am going for walks, and if summer is here, I might actually take the bike. Who knows? But right now it's just not safe to go on a bike. There's too much ice, there's too much snow. The wind outside is actually very dangerous, especially last week. We had such harsh wind that from time to time I was actually almost blown onto the road. So that was pretty dangerous. So being on a bike here isn't the safest thing also because there aren't that many safe options when it comes to cycling. But I will try my best to stay healthy. So all of you stay healthy as well. I don't know where you guys live, but do it. Try to get some good habits. It might actually help out. 
So beside all that, um, I did get a package this week, and it was a package from my mom. And this time it was even bigger than last time. And you'll see the footage in the video. It's actually a pretty long unpacking because there was so much in there. Uh, of course, there was a lot of unhealthy stuff in there. Thanks, mom. But uh, I will enjoy it nonetheless. <laughs> um, there were some cookies in there. There were some crisps in there. But there was also uh, some Easter decorations. So around Easter we're actually gonna use those and hang them around the house and they're actually really cute. You'll see them later on in the video. But uh, yes, I got a package from home and there was a lot of stuff in there. Also just stuff to put on bread which is really nice because I eat a lot of bread. I still do. I am trying to also get that into a habit instead of just skipping breakfast or eating a healthy breakfast. I'm trying to actually get back into my normal metabolism and my normal eating patterns and hopefully it's going to work out. Uh, I've been keeping up pretty alright, so we're going to see how it's going. I'll keep you updated on that. Um, so yeah, I had a package and there was a lot of cool stuff in there, so you see that. And where there, there wasn't much that happened this week. I've been actually kind of busy online. I did have a lot of fun online. Uh, I set up a new blog and it's dedicated to the fandom of Gravity Falls, which is a cartoon series. I talked about this before. But I'm actually very excited about this series because tomorrow there's going to be a new episode and this episode is going to change a lot. Like, you know how you're sometimes a fan of a certain series. Like, you have Game of Thrones or you have Supernatural or you have Doctor Who or um, Sherlock like from the BBC. Some people get so intense about certain series. In this case it's a cartoon. I know it's a little bit childish, but some people get so intensely invested into a certain series or cartoon that you just get so excited when new things are gonna happen. And in my case I set up a Tumblr blog for it and I've been keeping myself a little bit busy with that. I was actually pretty fun. Uh, also this week I actually cosplayed a little bit from Gravity Falls again. I went on Amigo, but it was a short-lived moment. But it was a lot of fun anyways. I uh, met some nice people again, and uh, of course you have the amount of creepers that always are hanging around that place. But yeah, I in general had fun. Now, what did happen this week, and I suddenly, suddenly realized that, is I broke my phone and I know that's really stupid and that's so typical but I broke my phone it was a Samsung Galaxy S3 and I dropped it on the floor on the tiles and now there's a crack in my screen and the phone still works I can still turn it on and off but the screen doesn't react and it doesn't uh, light up or anything it doesn't do anything at all so my phone is broken, so that means I can't really shoot vlogs. I have a spare phone right now, which is the old iPhone 3. I am borrowing it from uh, Johanna, so I at least can message people. I have WhatsApp, I can use Facebook, I can use some social media on this uh, phone, but it does mean that vlogging is going to be a little bit more difficult while I'm out. I will always bring my iPad with me though, so I will probably use that one. So it means that also the quality of the videos will be a little bit different. So you won't have as much uh, filming outside. Of course I will do my best to make pictures, especially like this Wednesday where I have a small field trip to the coast, which is actually pretty close by for me. Um, I will try to make pictures, but this quality of the phone, the quality of the phone is just not as good as my Samsung. Uh, S3. So please keep that in mind if suddenly the, the quality goes down. I did order a new phone which is the Samsung Galaxy S5 so I'm gonna keep myself to the Samsungs. I'm not a very big fan of Apple myself. Sure I have an iPad but it's basically for studies and I use that one to uh, give classes but I wouldn't want an iPhone myself. It feels as if you need to buy everything when it comes to uh, I just Apple in general. So 
I always keep it actually to Samsung. I've been using Samsung for, I think, almost eight years now, uh, with switching a phone every two. So using the S5 is going to be exciting. So at least I got to wait till the end of this month. There were some complications when ordering it. I actually had to ask my parents to loan me some money to order this and slowly but steadily I'm going to pay that back. But um, I had to order it all the way from uh, mainland Europe, uh, basically from Belgium, from a company called Phone Village. Yes, phonevillage.be. And I got my phone there for a very good price and I was going to ship it all the way to Iceland. And today I suddenly got told there are customs. And sure, like everybody has customs, every country has customs. But in Iceland, that would mean I would have to pay 15,000 something kroner extra to get the phone. So that would be about 100 euros extra on the 400 euros that I already paid. So I wasn't very pleased when I heard that. I was kind of freaking out. So I immediately called my mom and we took care of it. So she's gonna uh, receive it in about two days uh, on Tuesday. And then afterwards, she's actually gonna send it to me. So hopefully that's gonna work out because I'm just a little bit worried that everything is gonna go wrong, especially with a phone like that, because it's a lot of money and I really don't like borrowing money. But at the end of this month, uh, it should be arriving. Uh, most of the time when a package is sent from Holland, it takes about 10 days, which is ridiculous. I swear, it's it takes way too long to send something from Holland to Iceland. 10 days is a very long time. So hopefully nothing will break, hopefully everything will be okay. I am just a little bit anxious. But yes, I broke my phone. I am a little bit of a dumbass. But hopefully everything will be alright. So, with that little update, I will send you on your way with the rest of the videos. I managed to get everything from my phone uh, on the PC, so no footage has been lost, no pictures has been lost. So, everything is alright. Uh, last, let me think, Friday? Was it Friday? I think it was Friday. Friday we went to the store and actually I bought this new shirt from there. It's actually a guy shirt, but it seems that lady shirts are just of a lower quality, so I tried this one on. It's actually a pretty good fit. So I am quite pleased with this. So yes, I wish you all a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next vlog. So stay safe, form some good habits, and I'll see you all around. Bye! Hi guys, and uh, welcome on Monday of week 10. So uh, after a day of classes, I got home, I relaxed a little bit, worked on my essay, and uh, I just made dinner for myself, because uh, Stella's a little bit busy and Johanna's not feeling that great. So I had to make something for myself, and I gotta say, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. Just look at this. Look at this. Like some mashed potatoes and uh, some fried lamb and um, some mixed lettuce. I'm gonna put some feta cheese on that. And uh, on the side, I have some cucumbers. Uh, so I gotta say, I made a pretty good dinner. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update and uh, let you know how I, that I'm doing all right. Um, as you can see, I'm just kind of relaxing here. This afternoon or this evening, I gotta finish my essay. Tomorrow, I gotta head an in, and then I, uh, then I gotta start with the new one. So that's gonna be funsies. But uh, for now, I'm gonna enjoy dinner. Uh, I know my like my my laptop is right over there. I know it's a, not a good habit, but I was talking with some people, so I didn't wanna just leave that there. So yeah, that's why it's here. But, yes, I'm gonna enjoy dinner, I wish you all uh, a very nice evening, and I'll see you all around. Bye! 
Hi everybody, and welcome on Tuesday of uh, week 10. So we're in the bus right now, and we just went downtown for a moment. We, uh, we, what did we do? Uh, we went to the tattoo parlor. You're going oh, yes. to get a tattoo. I officially made my appointment for uh, a tattoo. I'm going to get one on my wrist right there. Um, you'll see it when it's done. I got the appointment for the 16th of April and I'm, I'm really, 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 really excited. And uh, afterwards we went to Nexus, the comic book store, and I checked out uh, a couple of things that I might buy for some friends. Uh, so, had to check on everything. And now we're on our way home and the weather outside is just gorgeous. A little bit of interior of the bus but hopefully you can see a little bit of outside but the weather is just great um, it's still pretty cold as you can see like I'm wearing my scarf and the hat and everything but today was a good day today is a good day I handed in my essay today I had a lecture which went which went fine I was a little bit late but it was okay and uh, tomorrow I will have two more lectures and then I'm free again so, I'll let you know how everything is going, and I'll see you all in the next one. Guess where we are? We're in the car. We're on our way to get some lunch. It's Wednesday of week 10. And uh, yeah, I want to show you guys the wonderful weather we're having right now. Just look at this. Look at this. Crap. I wanted to let you know that this is about, let's say, 70, maybe 75 percent of the Icelandic weather. Um, yesterday we actually had pretty good weather. Like we went out, did some things. But today, my God! Like this morning, I managed to stay dry. I managed to just like, go to class and everything. Right now, this is just this is the worst. Oh my goodness! Uh, yes, we're on our way to um, to lunch to American what? American style. It's American style, so we're gonna get some burgers. It's nice because I'm hungry. It's uh, 1 p.m., so it's a good time to have some lunch. And um, afterwards, we're gonna do a little movie marathon of Blade, some vampire action. I also gotta watch Blade 2 for, uh, for class, so basically, I'm doing my homework. Don't judge me. Nice homework. <laughs> so, I wanted to show you guys the weather, and uh, we are just being extra careful on the road right now. But, uh, yes, you people stay safe. I'll try my best to stay safe. Johanna is trying her best to stay safe. So, and keep you safe. Yes, we're all gonna be safe. So, I'll see you all later. <laughs> 